challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Ecosy, growing the economy of the southeast. Think home. Good day, viewers. You're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1. And on the program, ECOC, Economy of the South East, we will continue on the campaign and drive to encourage our people to bring their wealth home. And also helping to rebuild the economic life in the southeastern part of Nigeria and make it viable, prosperous, and livable for our people. And in doing that, we acknowledge some challenges our people have been facing, especially now that the cost of building materials for those who are investing in fixed assets like housing projects, companies, warehouses, residential houses, and the rest of them. The cost of building or construction now is very high. And we can't afford to continue seeing the tragedy that is prevailing across Nigeria today. Talking about using um, adulterated materials, building materials, or under, um, you know, I will call it um, something that doesn't have value, much value, when constructing the, your project. Just like last week, we talked about people who are using blocks that are so, so, weak. so, so weak and, you know, uh, valueless. You know, and at the end of the day, the building will last. We've seen the one that happened at our church at the other time. And today, we're going to look at another one. A five-story building that collapsed in Onita just a couple of days after the one of Ochanja happened. I want you to take a look at this report. And when I come back, we're going to bring to you an experience or usual guest, stakeholder in real estate investment for you to know how to avoid these unforeseen circumstances while constructing your project. I'll be right back. Don't go away. We begin with the story where two persons are believed to still be trapped after an uncompleted five-story building located in Onita Anambra State collapsed earlier today and many others injured. According to the reports, the building collapsed from the fifth floor down to the first. As at the time of filing this report, efforts were on by both security personnel and sympathizers towards rescuing the trapped people. The managing director, Number State Physical Planning Board, Chike Madweke, mentioned that approval given was for the construction of a three-story building, but the developer started erecting a five-story building. Viewers, it's quite unfortunate what happened this morning at about 5 o'clock or around after 5 this morning, Sunday, 10th March 2024. Another building collapsed at uh, Fege Onicha. The street is a uh, bazaar, if I should call it well. That is where the thing just happened. And we came just a few hours after the incident happened. Some of these uh, people you are seeing here, they are injured people, but not that much. In another compound, they even said that uh, they are afraid somebody is inside the building because somebody or some people used to sleep inside. So, when are they suspect say somebody there inside this house? Uh, uh, are they suspect because the workers there, they are, because then the work... There are people where they work, they are there. Some person, why would they suspect uh -huh. they inside? Hi! And the person not to do anything. What's the person go to do? Even me when I do it, if you feel how I feel. I can say my neck don't break. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can say my neck don't break. Three person. So, uh, I need thank God as I did like this. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, see me here, my sister. As person not die. Oh, okay. You might do inside. I mean, that time, I don't pray. Finish. They don't pray, finish. I don't pray, finish. Pray, finish. Before you speak another thing, that's in court. Once. The door way run. Yeah. That was something where, where, where happened for me. Mm. According to people that were present 
or people living around these premises when the building collapsed it was like the world is coming to an end and there was a very large noise if people can complain about this very large noise like this i wonder what must have happened during 9-11 at uh, wtc water center at uh, us so then they said when this thing occurred and the whole thing came down that you cannot see somebody that is uh, one feet away just somebody standing beside you, you cannot see that person because dust has covered <laughs> <laughs> you know to even see Sir. like this as you know okay dust dust, uh, dust. You know, see how it does. That time, it didn't mean and you know, go see me. Uh, as we like this, that time, you know, go you see me. How you go see him? Just you know, one more brother, I don't, you don't wait for here. You don't wait here. Uh, okay, I see him. Uh, I, don't I don't see him. him. I don't see him. That that the challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Eco see growing the economy of the southeast think home you're welcome back again we are still on ecosy economy of the southeast and you've just seen the story the report as we had it from both tvc and other news outlets that you know show the major reason which is fundamental in project handling Talking about the approval of the project where three story building was approved, and at the end of the day, we saw five story building being erected and subsequently collapsing. And also, the quality of the work, the quality um, maintenance or approval uh, bodies and uh, agencies in Anambra State, um, you know, saying that we didn't approve five story building. And the quality of materials as well also to be considered. So today we are going to highlight through the experienced real estate investment stakeholder, the president of CCF Real Estate, to tell us how you as an investor coming back to the Southeast to carry out any project investment, whether in construction or whatever, how you can do it and do it right and avoid these unforeseen circumstances. But before then, let us take our message from the sponsors of the program. I'll be right back. All over the world, real estate business has proved to be a reliable platform for investment based on consistency, profitability, and durability. It is without risk and gives financial security, freedom, and peace of mind. Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate Limited as a real estate company has been a consistent player in real estate business with many years of experience and positive impact. One of their choice estates, Airport City Estate Umweri, is still selling like a hot cake at a Comparatively moderate price with table land, well plotted and beaconed, easily accessible and very close to the Anambra International Cargo and Passenger Airport Umweri, with plans for all round provision of facilities like good road network, adequate security, street light, constant power supply, etc. Many people are already developing their plots without stress or any interference from the youth and the host community. Airport City Estate Tumweri is your opportunity to become a landlord without stress. Why would you spend millions of naira to buy a plot of land when with just 10 million naira you can get up to 3 or 4 plots at the Airport City Estate? For inquiries, please call 070 381 80830 or 0701 787 0 Seven seven seven. Our head office is at number twenty in Usionira by Savoy Junction near Boromir Roundabout, Oka Road, Onicha. Newi office, Christomex Plaza, Okigwe Oweri Road, Traffic Junction, Newi. Rush now while this special offer lasts. Airport City Estate Tumweri, a choice buy for your ultimate satisfaction. Committed Christian Friends, New Heaven Estate, your peace of mind is our commitment. You're welcome back again. We are still on the program, ECOC Economy of the Southeast, and it's my pleasure to bring in the president of CCF New Heaven Estate, who is joining me 
on this program to highlight on this very topical issue. It's a pleasure to bring you Elder Sylvester. Thank you very much. Um, the issue of um, <coughs> building collapsing is becoming a trend. And we talked about that before now. Uh, there are other issues that came up from the report, talking about the approval. Three story was approved, then they went on to elect five story building, which they have, you know, said that this could be the result of the building collapse. And also the quality of the material, which we've seen that molding of blocks, using of iron and the rest of them. What could actually cost it and who could be faulted? Yes, actually, um, most of the time, the landlord makes some grievous mistakes because of uh, money issues. In life, if you want, if you are sick, you go for a qualified doctor to take care of. Sickness. The way you want to build, instead of going for, if you want to put five stone, three stone, four stone, you go for qualified in, uh, building engineer. Man, sometimes our people will want to cut. If it is a, a qualified engineer that is working, if you a landlord will give him a, a, a less quality material, he will say no. But sometimes our landlord will now, when he have seen. A workman, four man that have been working with the engineer. Then the engineer can give him cost of building uh, twenty million. Then uh, the four man will tell him pay seven seven point five. He now got in the four man. Can you build it? Four man will say I will build it because we have been seeing the four man following the engineer. He didn't know that this engineer spent years in school to learn it. After learning it practical uh, theory, he will now come to learn it. Practical with so many years of experience, knowing how to fix the rod because it is the rod that carries the building. Can frame rod now and put it to carry building. But they now, instead of looking for qualified engineers, they go and use part foreman that is he has been seen foreman is working. Foreman will tell him that he has been he followed that he can walk, he walk there. Look for qualified engineer and possible ask him where and where and where and where have you built? Investigate. Did he really build it? A stand? Then after that investigation, you play not just you have seen somebody give him work to go and begin to let five story buildings. So you're saying that some people uh, uh, engage the services of quacks. Quacks! That is the major there's no way. If it is qualified engineer, he can use uh, less quality material. If you bring to him to the site the material, even the block and the cement and the and the sand and the cement that is less quality, we tell you, oh God, we use, we use this. But if they cannot manipulate qualified engineer easy, if it is this foreman or quacker, this there will our God will tell him put it. We say yes, sir. Then begin the put. When it happened, no God go lose. This is a major reasons of that. So if you want to do look for qualified engineer. Possible, ask him where and where and where the new build. Experience matters. What is your past experience? Then he will not tell you he build with it and then investigate. Investigate. Call the man that you have good that the this man good for you. How can you shut him? It, it, it costs you nothing. After investigation, you not give him project to erect. This is a house that will stay years. And you will risk the life of people. By putting them as tenants inside that building, if something can crack in the night, and the old people will die. So it's not something you can just take a contractor or engineer anywhere you see without investigation, without inquiry, without proving him that they can do the job. Please investigate. Please investigate. All right. Thank and inquire. That is very, very important, especially to those of you who are, um, you know, having in mind to. Uh, you know, start your project, investigate the person you are giving that project engineer to handle for you. All right, make sure that the person is qualified and also ensure that you supply quality materials 
for your projects. When I come back, we're going to take a look at some of the things they have put in place, talking about the most viable real estate we or uh, housing estate we have in Anambra State, talking about Umweri Airport City Estate. What is being done to ensure that quality building is being erected because most of those buildings will end up having tenants and the rest of them. We don't want to hear stories that touches the heart. Let us go back on our commercial break and when we come back we'll ask him what is it the estate management under his care does differently from what other people are doing and why you as the intended investor in property ownership in Ebola to do or know and invest in this very property. I'll be right back. Don't go away. All over the world, real estate business has proved to be a reliable platform for investment based on consistency, profitability, and durability. It is without risk and gives financial security, freedom, and peace of mind. Committed Christian Friends New Heaven Estate Limited, as a real estate company, has been a consistent player in real estate business with many years of experience and positive impact. One of their choice estates, Airport City Estate Umweri, is still selling like a hot cake at a Comparatively moderate price, with table land, well plotted and beaconed, easily accessible and very close to the Anambra International Cargo and Passenger Airport Umweri, with plans for all-round provision of facilities like good road network, adequate security, street light, constant power supply, etc. Many people are already developing their plots without stress or any interference from the youth and the host community. Airport City Estate Tumweri is your opportunity to become a landlord without stress. Why would you spend millions of naira to buy a plot of land when with just 10 million naira you can get up to 3 or 4 plots at the Airport City Estate? For inquiries, please call 070 381 80830 or 0701 787 0777. Our head office is at number 20 in Usionira by Savoy Junction near Boromir Roundabout, Oka Road, Onicha. Newi office, Crystal Max Plaza, Okiwe Oweri Road, Traffic Junction, Newi. Rush now while this special offer lasts. Airport City Estate Tumweri, a choice buy for your ultimate satisfaction. Committed Christian Friends, New Heaven Estate, your peace of mind is our commitment. You're welcome back again. We are still on the program, ECOC, Economy of the South East, and we're talking about how to avoid having building collapsing while still under construction, or even after construction, endangering the lives of many. And today we are highlighting the things that lead to house collapsing, the fake materials, adulterated building materials, quack, uh, engineers and the rest of them using them to construct your, uh, your your project. Now we have in the house the president of CCF and we're talking about the most viable estate in town. The CCF you have an estate. What is different? What exactly they are doing differently in ensuring that the project people you know put together there will not in turn become a thorn in the flesh or go south. Now, um, sir, we have um, this to ask. Your estate, what do you do to curb the possibility of having buildings being con uh, constructed in your estate collapsing? Okay. What we do is that we make sure we visit our site every week to look at the materials that people are using. We don't stop you from using your contractor. Because if we tell you to use our contractor, we say Boma man has come for money. We allow you to use our contractor to do your work. But we still go around to see. If you like our site, if this block, this kind of block is uh, brought to the site, we won't allow him to use it. We will call the owner. Even if the owner is in uh, Bodo Ibo, anywhere, we have the number of any person that invests in our estate. So if they are, they are bringing 
fake material, using material that's not standard material. We will call the owner and tell him, we will report to the place of work, nah, eh, stop this one, stop this one. This work is not about it, to spoil the work going on in this estate. Don't use this material. If you continue, we will call the owner and report. So we won't like to be there and see this kind of thing happen. So, after we have sold land to you, our eyes still go there to monitor what is happening in your site, to make sure they don't use fake more substandard material to do projects for you. Okay. Those are the things we do. Okay. Now, in doing that, do you add extra costs in doing that? Do you charge people for... We don't charge extra costs on it. We don't... That is the... That is the... Our own... What we feel it is our own aspect to encourage our customers. That is what we do to encourage our customers and to show them we are the best. Okay. You do that to encourage it's really people to encourage to, them and uh, to show them we are the best to partners with. Okay. And when it comes to building yes. or constructing or buying properties yes. and, and, and to ensure that your estate doesn't become a place where people will gather for this kind of sad deal. No, 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 no. It okay. can't be. Of course, as we are looking at the estate, um, a lot of um, things have started happening. People are already constructing their, yes. their fences, their perimeter Can fences. you see the block they packed for years? The water is beating it, there. nothing happens. Mm. As it is, it's the size it is. Mm. Quality material. I this one now broke there. If you pack this block upon another one, then the next morning, morning they will call them. They will it's ordinary sand in their pack. Uh, and the, the estate is in a very open, built up area. Yes. Uh, have access road, mm -hmm. had the airport there, mm -hmm. and the table land, as you can very see. Terrible. The land is stable, access to road, built up area, you know, not prone to erosion or flooding. And those who are buying are already erecting immediately. That is to show you the authenticity of the land. And you have nothing to worry about. And that is exactly what we are bringing to you today. That you can take advantage of this opportunity and become a landlord now that is still affordable. Despite the fact that the price is increasing, but it's not as much as the value is increasing yes. as we speak. The value of that place has gone up to 5 million naira in case you don't know. But today it is still being sold at 3 million. For those of you, some of some people bought it at 1.5, 2 million, 2.5, now selling at 3, 3 million. million, 3 million. Because five. of the level of development happening there, the, the value of the property is soaring high. Um, sir, uh, we really appreciate you for your time in you know giving us this insightful information from your wealth of knowledge to encourage our people to you know so what what is your advice to anyone buying properties anywhere in the southeast generally uh, when you are buying property i have been selling it and saying it investigate make inquiry make sure that the people selling to you is the right for people and uh, the people you will look for tomorrow and see them. There is one man that called me. He said that um, he said he's calling that the one girl collected money for him. He's calling him. His phone is not going. I asked him when he ever called me for two days. I asked him, "Do the person give you receipt?" He said yes. Hey, you don't need to tell me that you don't see the girl again. Go to that voice. That receipt. The man. He, the person gave you. There must be phone number of the rightful owner or the rightful estate. Call that phone number you see there. Make contact with them. They are the people you hold responsible. Some people don't even know what to do. They call me, call me two days, and then I not sleep and woke up. Say, did the person give you a receipt? He said they give you a receipt. He said, go check the invoice the person gave to you. There will be, there will be phone number of, and the office address of the person that gave you that thing. Call the number you see there. After I give him this advice, this man did call me again, which means he don't even know what to do until I open his eyes and tell him what to do. And he does that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so people should always make sure they know exactly the real estate company they are dealing with, especially yes. with a trusted one like CCF, New Heaven Estate. Thank you, sir, for joining us on the program today. God bless you. And to you who have been watching us, we thank you for following all we're doing. Don't forget to share this video if you have questions to ask ask it on the comment section and if you want to reach out to the numbers you're not dealing with agents you deal with the owners of the estate directly and you will be rest assured from this platform 
you will get the best, best attention. And I can vouch that it is authentic, genuine, and free from every trouble you can think of. And as Richard and Peter say, stay blessed at all times and keep the faith alive. BBI Channel One, we keep bringing you this opportunity your way. Bye bye for now. The challenge, the pain, the gain, and the potential of doing business in southeastern Nigeria, the Biafran land. Ecosy, growing the economy of the southeast. Think home.